In this video, a fire alarm blares through a target as smoke fills the premises. The customer recording passes by an aisle displaying bedding, pillows, and sheets, where one of the sheet shelves is ablaze. The fire engulfs a significant part of the shelf and threatens to spread to the adjacent ones. With the store appearing relatively empty, most customers had evacuated. However, it's revealed that the fire was deliberately ignited to serve as a distraction for a man's attempted theft. Despite his efforts, the plan backfired as he was apprehended and arrested by the police. In the Ninja region in China, a truck stops at a gas station to refuel. When the driver turns the ignition to leave, an unexpected and rapid blaze erupts, seemingly out of nowhere. The startling speed at which it begins is unnerving, particularly given its seemingly spontaneous origin. Take a closer look a few seconds into the video and you'll notice an odd liquid on the ground, which we suspect to be highly flammable. The driver hastily exits the truck, seeking safety from the sudden inferno. Thankfully, the quick response of the gas station attendants contained the fire within three minutes. They swiftly employed fire extinguishers despite the flames persisting threateningly. One of the attendants later shared how instinct guided his actions. He acted swiftly, not considering his own safety, knowing that containing the fire was crucial to prevent a potentially more hazardous situation. What would you do in that split second if you were in this position? In the southeastern state of Sao Paulo in Brazil, an ordinary patrol station became the background for an extraordinary event captured entirely by surveillance cameras. The unusual sequence unfolded innocently enough as two individuals on a motorcycle initially seemed to be stopping for fuel. However, their benign appearance took a sinister turn when they revealed their intentions to rob the station. One of the armed thieves systematically looted the counter, collecting cash and stuffing it into a bag. Subsequently, they quickly mounted their motorcycle, aiming for a speedy getaway. However, in their haste, they failed to notice an open pit in the gas station designed for car services, apparently five feet below ground. The motorcycle plunged into the pit, disrupting their escape plan. After a moment of confusion, they extricated themselves from the pit and resumed their attempted escape. Watch as this individual exchanges his old guitar for a limited edition model at Nashville used in new music. According to a post on Instagram by the store owners, the customer entered the store carrying his gig bag during a busy period. Allegedly, he inquired about the repair technician, who was away on a lunch break. Subsequently, the suspect indicated he would browse and wait. The surveillance footage captures the moment he set down his guitar places the shop's guitar in his own bag, zips it up, and departs. Online commenters suggested intriguing advice, such as fingerprinting the abandoned guitar. I hope they catch him, one person commented. Stealing a guitar in Nashville should be considered especially criminal, remarked someone else. Described as valued at approximately three grand, the store is now urging anyone who spots the guitar or possesses relevant information to reach out to them directly. This information is from Inside Edition Digital. This disturbing footage in Los Angeles captures 100 plus looters, bakery of all places taking everything they can. It began with a white vehicle backing in and breaking the wall down. Some looters searched the cash registers. Some emptied the shelves of snacks and products. This is the carnage after the chaos ensued. There was over $70,000 worth of damage done, leaving the store owner stunned. Listen to what he has to say. I saw that video. What went through your mind? A oh, rage. Of course, I was upset. I was mad. Um, roughly like about $2,000. They took cigarettes, uh, lottery tickets. We have machines right there. and We just saw them. They grabbed them. They just took them. They emptied all these. They broke that. They emptied all the chips, things right here. Oh, my God. It, it really takes your breath away. This is your does. family's business. Yeah. This is your life. Exactly. This is me. It's really sad that this happened to a small and caring business. To my knowledge, none of the looters were ever caught. This individual was observed under the influence of meth, openly selecting and holding items in a store without paying. After coordinating with their partner via cell phone and utilizing cameras, they confronted the person outside, 
identifying themselves and displaying their badge. Despite the individual's attempt to flee, they were apprehended using a lanyard around their neck. During the struggle, the items were dropped and the person's mother attempted to leave with a stolen coat. Following a physical altercation, the shoplifter was restrained using martial arts techniques off camera, and wire cutters were found in their possession. Eventually, police intervened and arrested the shoplifter for the theft exceeding $100 and outstanding warrants. The apprehension was considered challenging due to store policies posing greater concern than the actual offenders. A local teenager's quick thinking and bravery helped protect a young girl from a potential danger at a Target in Dorchester. I seen the guy grabbing himself and my mom goes, Kim, let's go, keep walking. I was like, no, something's going on. While shopping with his mother, 17-year-old Cameron Cook noticed a man acting suspiciously towards a child. I was close enough where I could smell the liquor coming from his mouth. It was, it was horrible. Trusting his instincts, Cameron confronted the man asking if he knew the girl. The man denied any wrongdoing, but Cameron stood firm, ultimately prompting the suspect to leave the store. So I went up to him, I was like, excuse me, sir, do you know her? And then the first thing he said was, I'm not a pervert, I'm not a pervert, I, was like, I didn't ask you that, sir. And he was big, and Cameron had no fear at all. He just, he was, he just stood firm on the fact that he knew that what this man was doing was wrong. Cameron's mother expressed her pride in his actions, and the young girl's mother, who was thankfully unaware of the situation, was undoubtedly grateful for his intervention. Police remind parents to remain vigilant and keep their children close, even for bathroom breaks while shopping. An intricately organized group of thieves crafted a small plan to target armored trucks replenishing ATMs. Their approach centered on skillfully deflating tires of the trucks. As the unsuspecting driver examined the flat tire, the gang seized the opportunity and made off with the cash. This tactic proved effective in 15 instances, leading to a significant loot of $1 million. This woman started smashing glass bottles against the attendant's window after he locked her in. Whatever her issue was, he wasn't letting her get away with it. According to the bystanders filming, this seemed to occur somewhat regularly. The man behind the camera quickly remarked, she'll go to jail this time, suggesting that this wasn't the first instance of such behavior and that jail hadn't been a consequence before. Hey, she going to jail this time. She continued throwing bottles and making threats, but the person behind the counter remained resolute. It's probably reassuring to have strong, bulletproof glass. What would you do in this situation? CCTV footage captured the audacious exploits of two individuals within the South Florida jewelry store. Despite their attempts to conceal their identities, their reckless conduct was evident as they haphazardly toppled items to the floor. Their primary objective centered on a substantial safe containing valuable items. Employing a steel cable and hook, they affixed one end to the safe and the other to a getaway vehicle positioned outside. With a swift and precise maneuver, they effortlessly extracted the safe, executing a seamless escape. The figure is around a million dollars. It could hit the million a little more. It looks like they bought a device to cut off the signals of the cell phones. Like right now, nobody has signal in there, and that's why the alarm didn't go on. They turned off the alarm right now. In a disturbing incident at a Bronx gas station, a striking moment in the video was the casual manner in which the armed robber handled his gun, loading it recklessly inside the convenience store. This unsettling event occurred in broad daylight, not during the night, highlighting the audacity of the robber and his accomplice. The gas station's surveillance cameras captured the criminals in dark clothing and masks, concealing their identities as they carried out their dangerous activities. Five individuals brazenly invaded Main Street Liquors on West Main Street in Dothan, their every move documented on camera as they methodically pillaged the store, stuffing their pants and shirts with alcohol. The value of their theft reached a staggering $7,000 in merchandise. Police apprehended and formally charged three suspects with first-degree theft of property while the search continues for the remaining two individuals. This Halloween masked robbery unfolded on Middle County Road in Corum, Long Island. A man wearing a red Halloween mask and a green top strolled into the store. 
his calm approach towards the cashier contrasting sharply with the firearm he brandished. He demanded cash and the cashier complied, passing it to him in a bag across the counter. While only the cashier's hand was visible, it's clear the individual might be petrified, facing the sight of the pistol. The masked robber swiftly grabbed the cash and dashed out into the night. Bold criminals in West Miami forcefully breached a liquor store using tools, showing no inclination to conceal their identities. Once inside, their unconventional approach became evident. Instead of merely taking money from the cash register, they opted to physically rip the entire register from its fixture. One of the offenders uh, pulled the register drawer completely out uh, that was attached to a chain, takes the whole thing, and he also missed a few items that were um, underneath the register for them to just go in there, you know, with maybe a hat and no mask and just, you know, come in, you know, not really worried about anything, just walk right out. Um, we're hoping that the some of the, uh, the video, you can see the a side of the one of the offenders pulling the register, you can get a pretty decent face shot and a side shot. So we're hoping, you know, so. Trucks ablaze at a gas station. Observe the billowing black smoke and fiery red plumes engulfing the area. Amidst the chaos, a bystander's voice echoes in the background, likely addressing someone nearby. The reference to two trucks indicates the number of vehicles involved in this fiery spectacle. The soaring flames and thick smoke signal the immense scale of this alarming incident. If you focus your attention, you'll notice the fire extending beyond the tree line at the gas station's edge. Amidst the distressing scene, the reassuring sound of fire trucks arriving on the scene offers hope for bringing the situation under control. A chilling gunpoint robbery unfolds in this video. Without commentary, it might seem like a regular scene with a man in a long black coat leaning over a counter. But keen observation revealed a thief's hand tucked under the counter, brandishing a gun aimed at the cashier. Undoubtedly, a terrifying moment for the person behind the counter. The entire incident was captured by a gas station surveillance camera after midnight at a gas station in Canarsie, Southeast Brooklyn. The store attendant lost their mobile phone in the robbery, while around $500 was taken from the cash register. Though the footage shows only one robber with a gun, authorities believe the individual in the black coat had an accomplice. When dominoes fall dangerously. Before watching this video, it's crucial to note that no one suffered serious injuries. However, the impact witnessed might suggest otherwise. Keep an eye on the street. A fire truck is passing when a Lincoln SUV unexpectedly emerges, causing chaos to ensue. The fire truck collides with the SUV, sending the SUV crashing into a utility pole. Simultaneously, the fire truck careens into a nearby gas station, causing a van to collide with the station's metal pole and igniting a small fire. Nearby spectators quickly flee, fearing a potential explosion. Inside the vehicle were six individuals, a trio of firefighters and a family of three, fortunately escaping serious harm. Interestingly, a similar incident occurred in the summer of 2019, involving the same fire truck and location, resulting in a comparable outcome, necessitating a response to address the situation. Three men, hooded and masked, entered David's Jewelry in Elmont during daylight, armed with hammers. They brazenly smashed display cases, grabbing valuable items, while a vigilant customer wisely made a quick exit. The owner, his wife, his daughter, and a family friend courageously confronted the thieves in a desperate attempt to safeguard their business. The owner's wife tried to retrieve jewelry from the cases, momentarily impeding the thieves. Nevertheless, the culprits swiftly escaped with nearly a million dollars worth of gold and jewels. I guess they should have had a safety gate. They had hoodies on, and they had their face covering, so we couldn't tell what they were here for. But once we saw the hammers, uh, we all became panicked, just grabbed chairs and things and started throwing them to, start to fight back. Really mad that uh, this was happening. We worked hard. In a daring heist at Huntington Bank on Beach Daily in Grand River, an armed robber executed an unconventional maneuver. Strangely, he seemed to pass directly by the security camera, appearing oblivious to its presence. Upon entering, 
he confronted a bank teller, brandished his weapon, and demanded money, which the teller promptly surrendered. The audacious thief then moved on to another teller, wearing gloves to avoid leaving fingerprints behind. Based on the way he was acting and the way he moved through the bank and the fact that he was so calm, I certainly believe this is not his first time in doing this. What's a real concern is that uh, he actually displayed a gun to both tellers. We're hoping that with the quality of video that we have, there has to be somebody that knows him. In a peculiar incident that left both witnesses and authorities perplexed, a defendant diagnosed with cerebral palsy, rendering his hands immobile, adopted an unconventional approach in an attempted robbery. Utilizing his feet, he conveyed his intent by placing a threatening note on the store's counter. The note read, Hand over everything. Don't draw attention to yourself. To underscore the demand, he pointed a plastic toy weapon at the counter, securing it adeptly between his bare feet. Amidst this unexpected situation, a customer exited the scene while the staff engaged with the teenager. Misinterpreting the replica as real, the bewildered employee promptly notified the police, resulting in a prompt response and the subsequent arrest of the teenager. A woman wreaks havoc in the store. Everything seems calm initially as the video begins, with a man in denim and another woman in black pants waiting patiently. However, if you look beyond, there's a woman at the cashier's table waving her hand frantically. Once you notice her, chaos ensues. In a burst of fury, she starts pushing items off their stands, pulling goods down and scattering everything, like she entered beast mode. Her rampage continues as she attempts to force the door open, kicking and pulling with all her might. Despite her efforts, the door remains shut. Frustrated, she paces back and forth, dialing someone on her phone. The mayhem, fueled by a hold charge on her credit card, unfolds until the end of the video. It's evident that she fought fiercely, akin to a caged animal. A criminal couple engages in a spree of gas station thefts, targeting at least four stations over a single weekend. Their audacity is evident as they conduct their criminal activities during broad daylight, foregoing the cover of night. In one instance, the man parks his car behind the shop, climbs over the electrical conduit at the back of the building, and reaches the roof. Swiftly, he covers the store's satellite dishes with foil to disable them. Marking the initial phase of their plan, the second phase involves using a stolen credit card for purchases inside the store, exploiting the disabled satellite to avoid triggering credit card fraud alerts. Meanwhile, the woman, his accomplice, is inside the store browsing products, demonstrating their daring approach to criminal activities. Three individuals executed a cunning scheme to target a hotel in Nairobi. Approaching the reception, they posed as potential guests interested in room service, expressing a desire to inspect the rooms. Despite initial skepticism from the receptionists, they decided to accommodate the request and show them a room. It was during this moment that the criminals unveiled their plan. One of them brandished a weapon, while another kept watch. Simultaneously, the third accomplice gathered guests around the reception area. Exploiting the distraction, the armed man forcefully ransacked the receptionist for cash, overpowering the receptionist. The trio successfully subdued him and fled with an estimated 500,000 shillings. In the dead of night, two brazen thieves forcefully shattered the glass door of a tobacco shop, as captured in this video. Once inside, they casually strolled around, seizing numerous cartons of cigarettes before making their exit. Although not caught on video, 
Authorities reported another attempted break-in at a different tobacco shop shortly after this incident. The thieves remain unidentified as they wore masks and gloves during the break-in. In a robbery that took a dramatic turn, the tables quickly turned against the would-be thieves wielding a concealed kitchen knife. Initially targeting a store employee, the robber anticipated a seamless escape. However, the store owner demonstrated remarkable courage and swift decision-making. Instead of succumbing to fear, the store owner promptly left the premises. Acting with careful precision, they secured the door from the outside and, in a decisive move, activated the security system. The rolling shutter descended rapidly, sealing off the entrance. Unfortunately for the robber, attempting to slip under the shutter for an escape proved to be a miscalculation. The metal shutters descended, trapping him beneath the glass door and the street. Helpless and immobilized, the defeated robber surrendered within minutes. Police arrived, took him into custody, and filed charges. He was subsequently sentenced to a prison term of three years and four months. In May of 2023, an Atlanta man took a sledgehammer to a slot machine at an Exxon gas station equipped with gambling machines. After briefly disappearing off camera, he returns with a small sledgehammer and starts striking the machine. Although not visible on camera, reports suggest that the man's accomplice pointed a gun at the clerk when he tried to call 911. Frustrated with the slot machine, both men abandoned their initial plan and instead robbed the gas station making off with approximately $1,000. Three men wielding knives forcefully entered the Super Value liquor store on Central Street, leaving customers in a state of shock. While employees attempted to summon assistance, one of the suspects, growing increasingly agitated, vaulted over the counter and pursued a clerk, inflicting cuts on his fingers and nose. Another suspect, showing impatience, tried to access the lottery machine but eventually settled for the cash in the drawer. Unsatisfied, he forcefully tore the lottery register from the counter. The injured clerk made another call for help as the suspect exited. Also, the same group targeted a 7-Eleven on the other side of town hours later. Carrying a knife and another weapon, Ryan Flores walked into a Fresno, California Starbucks demanding money from the cashier. In a surprising twist, he unexpectedly voiced concern for the safety of the children present, emphasizing that he had no intention of causing harm. However, a brave customer armed solely with a metal chair stepped in, launching a sudden attack from behind. This unforeseen action sparked a struggle, resulting in multiple stab wounds for both Flores and the intervening customer. Despite his injuries, Flores attempted to flee, but police quickly apprehended him bringing the incident to a dramatic conclusion. A break-in at a gas station was captured by the surveillance camera, revealing the empty interior of the store at night with no visible employee or management. However, in the top right corner, signs of a break-in become evident as a man enters the store and swiftly rummages through, grabbing desired items. Shortly after, a female figure follows suit, jumping over the counter and grabbing what she wants and making her way out of the store through the same opening that they had created. The chase and the shots on May 5, 2023 make one question the necessity of certain events. Hector Moss was approached by the LAPD during a routine patrol along Manchester Boulevard in the Hoover Street area. Initially observed leaving an ATM point on Hoover Street with a female companion, the officer spoke to Hector from their cruiser. As Hector and his partner headed towards a white Mercedes-Benz parked at a gas station, a sudden and jarring turn of events unfolded. Without warning, Hector and his companion swiftly entered the Mercedes. Notably, a third party was behind the wheel. The officers initiated a serious chase, calling for additional support and air assistance. As the Mercedes was cornered, the driver stopped, and Hector attempted to escape on foot. Ignoring police commands to stop, Hector continued, tripped, and fell. While being pursued, he reached into his satchel, revealing a gun.
The subsequent events unfolded with the police reacting to what they perceived as a threat on their lives. A fatal shooting occurred in late July 2023 near Hunter's Pub in Houston. The surveillance footage reveals a 35-year-old man being shot in the chest by a gunman identified as 22-year-old Gabriel Garcia. The footage captures Garcia engaging in conversation with a woman and a man before pouring out his beer and handing the empty jug to the young lady. After further discussion, Garcia gestures to his car, leading a man and a young woman to exit the pub. As the man attempts to approach Garcia, he pulls out a pistol, prompting the man to retreat inside. Subsequently, the victim exits and confronts Garcia, resulting in Garcia shooting him in the chest. The altercation reportedly started over a dispute about taking beers outside. Garcia later surrendered to the police. In April of 2019, a drunk driver inadvertently crashed her vehicle into a Circle K gas station, causing a scare for the clerk and displacing the counter by approximately three or four feet. Fortunately, nobody was injured and the driver remained on the scene. However, she faced charges of driving while intoxicated and is expected to incur a substantial insurance bill. In a rather comical turn of events, a group of individuals tried to carry out a robbery targeting a store for the latest phones. This transformed the incident into an amusing spectacle that entertained both onlookers and customers. The audacious escapade unfolded on camera as around six people, clad in black, forcefully entered a store on Corporation Street, causing a commotion amongst bystanders and those present inside. In their misguided pursuit, the would-be thieves created chaos while attempting to pilfer new phones, each of which carried a substantial price tag. Despite their determined efforts, the display cases proved to be resilient, thwarting all attempts to gain forced entry. Onlookers found amusement as one of the intruders climbed on the top of the display, attempting unsuccessfully to dislodge a secure cabinet. The crowd outside the shop took pleasure in the burglar's repeated attempts, rendering their entire adventure ultimately futile and comical. The robbers were initially captured by the exterior camera of this Walmart, strolling leisurely with their faces fully on display. At first glance, anyone observing them would not suspect any nefarious intentions. However, as we know, appearances can be deceiving. They engage in casual conversation with apparent ease as they enter Walmart. Yet, moments after their entrance, one of them approaches the cashier's deck, brandishes a gun, and points it directly at a terrified cashier. The cashier hastily gathers all the cash from the register, placing it into a bag, which the armed robber retrieves gently. They make their way out of the store with the accomplice in tow. Despite one of the robbers appearing to have a limp, what stands out most is their confidence. Unlike typical armed robbers who flee the scene, they walk right out of the store without any disguise, no nose mask or hoodie. Their faces remain exposed for everyone to see as they depart in the most cavalier manner, leaving an unexpected impression of fearlessness. Having withdrawn $1,400 in cash from Wells Fargo, Oscar Mayanos secured his money in the glove compartment of his vehicle. Unbeknownst to him, he unwittingly became the target of a meticulously planned theft. While entering a store, a suspicious individual emerged from a Land Rover, promptly smashing the window. Exploiting the opportunity, the thief reached into the glove compartment, seized the envelope containing Oscar's money, and swiftly made an escape leaving Oscar as the victim of a well-calculated and audacious theft. The guy used like a, like a punch device to use in the corner of the car. And then, you know, the, all the glass shot and then, uh, you know, broke everything. I saw a guy by the ATM machine, and then I went to my car, and then I pulled the money, you know, I was carrying my hand, in the glove compartment. I saw the, the broken window, you know, from, from the door, and then I, I ran to see what's going on, and and I see the glove compartment. You know, look like he's reaching right here. I believe that kind of GPS device. He was tracking me all the time. I just have to be really careful because you cannot believe it can be a, a homeless guy next to you or can be a, a guy driving. What would you do if you witnessed armed robbers entering a store while you were shopping? Many would seek cover, flee, or take evasive action. However, 
shift your attention to the robbers donning hoodies and face masks to conceal their identities as they navigate through the store, fearlessly grabbing items they desire. One cashier is seen kneeling on the floor, overcome by fear, while another employee watches helplessly. The robbers, seemingly undeterred, pocket the stolen jewelry, and with a quiet rush, they swiftly exit the store. The terror experienced by the cashier and the individual who hastily fled evokes a chilling response. This body cam footage shows an intense arrest of two stalking suspects by Ohio police during a chaotic foot chase at Walmart. The Cleveland Police Department reported that Sanaja Jones and Walter Clay Robinson Jr. attempted to evade officers when confronted in the Supercenter. The charges pressed against them include menacing by stalking. Additionally, Jones is facing more severe allegations of murder and contempt of court. The incident unfolded as a high-stakes pursuit, capturing the attention of shoppers and store personnel in the bustling Walmart. The heightened tensions and subsequent charges reflect the seriousness of the situation as police worked swiftly to apprehend the suspects. Do spirits engage in cannabis consumption? Tales of haunted locations are prevalent, especially with restless spirits lingering around places tied with their demise. However, the paranormal activity takes an intriguing turn when it involves a cannabis store in downtown Oregon. Five Trees, a cannabis dispensary, has become a focal point for supernatural occurrences. In an August surveillance video, an eerie incident unfolds as the glass tip jar starts moving on a level surface, seemingly guided by an unseen force. Witnesses recall feeling a presence, adding to the mystery. Shortly after, another peculiar event is captured, showcasing pens inside a cup rearranging as if someone is organizing them. To add to the intrigue, the scissors on display also exhibit movement. The building's history plays a role in these occurrences, as it was previously a pharmacy. Some believe the spirit of a meticulous pharmacist, known for organizing things, might be behind these unexplained events. Despite any claims of video manipulation, the mysterious happenings inside this cannabis store continue to baffle and captivate observers. In China, a bold endeavor at a bank robbery took an unexpectedly amusing twist. The would-be thief approached the bank teller, brandished a meat cleaver, causing a moment of shock and disbelief among customers and staff. However, in an unforeseen turn of events, the bank teller erupted into laughter. The absurdity of the situation with someone wielding a meat cleaver generated amusement rather than fear, leaving onlookers perplexed. Security guards promptly stepped in, effortlessly subduing the confused and unsuccessful would-be thief. In this footage captured by security cameras at Target, a woman seized a tray of raw beef from the meat section of the store. Glancing around to ensure no one was observing her, she rips off the wrapping on the beef and begins consuming the raw meat. With an appetite reminiscent of someone who hasn't eaten in days, her voracious consumption almost resembles the scene from a zombie movie. The motive behind this unusual act remains unclear, as she initially appears to be an entirely ordinary person. Hopefully, she didn't suffer any adverse health effects afterwards. In a daring robbery at Jeff Diamond's in Campbell, a group of thieves aggressively entered the store by forcefully breaking windows and doors. Once inside, they callously shattered glass display cases, quickly filling their bags with valuable jewelry before making a swift getaway. The manager voiced frustration regarding the delayed response time of the officers, underscoring the urgency of the situation. Have you ever experienced a roadside robbery? And if so, how did you respond? Many times, people choose to let such incidents slide, 
prioritizing personal safety over possessions. However, there was an exceptional case where a family decided to confront the thieves who had just robbed them. Spotting the robbers speeding away in a white Chevy Equinox, the family promptly got into their own vehicles and chased after the Chevy. They pursued the vehicle, eventually ramming it forcefully enough to bring it to a stop. We really thought it was a car accident. One was trying to flee because they didn't have insurance, and it was just crazy. The situation initially appeared to onlookers as a car accident, but only the couple, infuriated by the audacity of the thieves, knew the real story. Despite the potential danger, they decided to confront the suspects. However, it's important to note that such actions can be risky, and the passers-by were unaware of the true nature of the incident. While some might not recommend chasing down a suspect, it's understandable that in the heat of the frustration, one might choose not to let the perpetrator escape. The twist in this tale is that when the police did arrive, the driver of the stopped car claimed he was carjacked. The situation raises questions about how individuals should respond in such scenarios, emphasizing the importance of prioritizing safety in any decision-making process. Under the Veil of Night, two individuals orchestrated a bold attack on an ATM machine in Queens, New York. Utilizing a van, they attached a chain from the back of the vehicle to the ATM, forcefully removing the entire machine from the wall. With impressive speed, they rapidly loaded the ATM into the van and made a swift getaway. An eyewitness promptly alerted the police. He saw everything, called the police, and the police showed up fairly quickly, but uh, they, they missed each other by like 30 seconds. Well, to then it was cemented, there was rods going inside the stone and everything, but they got it out. You put an ATM to kind of help the you know, customers, to help the general public convenience-wise, but it's not worth it. Despite the quick response from police, the suspects narrowly evaded capture by approximately 30 seconds. A young man, armed with a weapon, forcefully entered a store, heading straight for the register without assessing his surroundings. Employing his weapon to instill fear, he targeted a specific individual. However, a man wearing a Mexican cowboy hat seized a timely opportunity, displaying impressive agility as he lunged forward, tackled the robber, and disarmed him. The weapon clattered to the floor, but another employee quickly retrieved it, preventing further harm. The visibly frightened robber attempted a swift escape, dashing for the exit. However, his flight was abruptly halted by an unflinching store employee who stood resolute. The police were called and the would-be thief was promptly apprehended. In Southeast Houston, a group of suspected shoplifters believed they could exit a store without any issues. In an incident from March, a man loaded a shopping cart and attempted to leave the store off Telephone Road. The employee, seen trying to stop him, witnessed two other individuals also leaving with allegedly more stolen items. The situation escalated as the employee was shoved to the ground, and all of them escaped in a light blue van. If these individuals seem familiar, please contact Crime Stoppers. The narrative unfolds as a crime that not only impacts everyone, but is witnessed by many, with thieves shamelessly shoplifting from stores. Organized retail crime incurs a staggering cost of $1 billion annually for state retailers. Investigative journalist Brian Mass delved into the reasons behind these surges and how certain communities are taking it upon themselves to combat it. At a bustling Brighton supermarket around 4 p.m., a man and a woman were observed wheeling out 20 containers of laundry detergent, valued at an estimated $600 without making any payment, Store security and concerned customers intervened, attempting to thwart the thieves. Unperturbed, the couple pulled their car up to the front of the store, facilitating the effortless loading of the stolen items. Scenes like this have become commonplace across Colorado, depicting a situation that is perceived to be spiraling out of control. Some cities have taken the initiative to counteract this trend. Aurora Mayor Mike Kaufman advocated for a new law mandating three days in jail for anyone convicted of stealing more than $300 in merchandise. The message of this ordinance is Aurora's fed up, Aurora's going to be tough on crime, and uh, or if you want to uh, shoplift, Aurora's probably not the place to do it. Politicians and retailers emphasized that fewer individuals were incarcerated due to COVID-19, resulting in a diminished fear of consequences. Uh, a rising anger 
uh, about that. And uh, uh, I think the feeling is that they're not just stealing from the store, they're stealing from everybody. When somebody's an habitual criminal and they're behind bars, <laughs> for those days that they're behind bars, they're not creating new victims. They're not, they're not stealing from our store. Meanwhile, catalytic converter theft and other crimes surged in cities like Westminster, prompting the passage of new laws cracking down on these offenses. The message conveyed by these ordinances is clear. Don't commit a crime in Westminster. Mayor Pro Tem Dave Damond notes that these new, stricter laws are in response to the perception that the state laws don't go far enough. What can we do at the local level understanding, you know, some of this has softened in the state? In Aurora, property crime has shown a downward trend in recent months, and the city reports that a dozen shoplifters have been prosecuted under the new shoplifting law. Back in Brighton, the individual in the video, Zola Diane Wakili, was arrested and will face charges. Authorities share video footage revealing the tragic aftermath of a mass shooting at a Tennessee Kroger on September 23, 2021. The Collierville Police Department reported that a disgruntled former employee, UK Thang, entered the store and began shooting at both employees and customers, resulting in the death of one person and injuring 15 others before turning the firearm on himself. On October 24, 2023, Michael Prouty, 39, forcibly entered a woman's home in the villages, stealing her purse, cell phone, and car from the garage. Later that day, he was apprehended in Ocala after crashing a stolen car during a police pursuit. Prouty fled the scene causing injuries, but citizens intervened. He's now, uh, oh, he just crashed at 40 and Pine. 40 and Pine, signal four. Ten fourth white male bailing. In a subsequent carjacking attempt, another citizen thwarted Prouty's efforts. Despite evading capture temporarily, he was eventually apprehended by a vigilant citizen and is now facing various charges, including fleeing and eluding and attempted carjacking. Prouty has a criminal history, previously serving prison time for burglary and robbery and was released in February 2023 after violating a community release program. He had pending charges in Miami-Dade County and was released on bail in March 2023. In Fullerton, California, VJW and his wife, Jika, both doctors, experienced a terrifying attack in their driveway. Believing they were followed 16 miles from a jewelry store, the couple faced a highly sophisticated gang upon arriving home. Surveillance footage captured the chaos as the husband fought back but was ultimately slammed to the ground. The assailants made off with the jewelry and other valuables. The victim's daughter, Priyanka, and her fiancé joined the scene, attempting to chase the culprits. Despite the family's efforts, the gang escaped. The stolen items included priceless family heirlooms that held sentimental value and were recently cleaned just for the daughter's upcoming wedding. When I cry about this, I'm not just crying my own tears, it's my grandmother's tears that are being cried as well. The emotional toll extended beyond personal losses to generational connections, making it a heartbreaking incident. Thanks for watching. Stay vigilant, friends.